Hello great people, thank you very much for tuning once again today. I'm so happy guys and I welcome you back to our channel today. Hey, this is great. This is uh, you silly little Englishman, the New Yorker, mocks Harry and Meghan's paparazzi car chase. Wow. I don't know what transpired here and uh, let us get straight away and see what Morgan Pius has got for us. Thank you. New Yorkers have been having a good laugh at Harry and Meghan's expense. Take a look at this New Yorker reacting to the couple's claims of a near catastrophic car chase. Does anybody want to know what a real car chase would look like in New York City? <laughs> oh, he's getting far. <laughs> That's what a real car chase would look like in New York City. <laughs> oh, Meghan and Harry, you silly little Englishman. <laughs> well, He's English, she isn't, just for the record, we're not claiming it. And the New York Post has poked fun at Harry and Meghan's latest quest for privacy, privacy, with a mock-up of their South Park characters in a New York yellow taxi, screaming for privacy. Don't look at me, I want my privacy. Well, joining me now are the Talk TV contributors, Esther Cracker and Paula Ron Adrian, and in America, the host of Fox Across America, Jimmy Fallon. All right, well, Jimmy, let me start with you, because I've got a feeling I know what you'll be thinking about all this, but as a... As a man in New York right now, I mean, what, what do you what do you make of this? Well, Pierce, you know, I am a former New York City cab driver. I drove a yellow cab in New York City. Really? <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And the way my radio show is going this week, I'm a future New York City cab <laughs> driver as well. But stick with me here, okay? It was so improbable from the from the get go when they said high speed chase. Let me give you guys some sort of quantification of how impossible it is to speed in our city. New York is the only city in the world where bank robbers flee on foot, <laughs> Pierce. Anywhere else in the world, you come outside, there's a car waiting, you peel off. In New York, it would be the opposite. You'd come running outside, you'd be like, dude, I got the money. And the getaway guy would be like, dude, I couldn't get a parking spot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. This is absurd on its face. And we all knew it from word one. Okay. Paula, you've been grimacing your way uh, about all this. So you clearly feel sympathy for them. It's disappointing, Piers, isn't it? Because you believe them? I have to remind everybody that Neil Basu, who was the counter-terrorist mm. chief, um, who had to give an interview, who has said very clearly that uh, Meghan suffered real threats in terms of her life and that some of those people were now serving time. So this isn't What's a got to joke. Do with this? So this isn't a joke well, in terms on, of the you're, fear you're that they no, would Paula, have been Paula, Paula, feeling. You're conflating two completely different things. One is, is the normal th threats which a lot of members of the royal family get and other public figures and that's a serious thing and no one's diminishing that. This is nothing to do with that. These photographers are not trying to kill them. They're trying to take a picture of two people who've been voraciously using the media now for years to make themselves very rich. It's a two-way street. You can't just turn that tap it's off when you feel like street. it. And, and there is no evidence at the moment from the police that the photographers did anything illegal or anything wrong. Well, let's look at that two-way street. So we know that Meghan arrived with Harry and that her picture was taken. We know that they went inside the venue and that their picture was taken. We know that they left the venue and their picture was mm -hmm. taken. We also know it's accepted that an incident occurred. We've heard well, from no, it's Harry. Not. That's We've the whole heard, point. We, we, it's it's not accepted, accepted no. that an incident occurred. There's no incident occurred. other than they turned a 10-minute journey. For, for reasons that are completely baffling to everybody, they turned a 10-minute journey at 10 o'clock at night from 57th Street to the middle of the Upper East. I've done that journey many times. I used to live literally almost where they ended up. I know how long it takes, and it's the quickest, easiest journey imaginable. But because they didn't want anyone to know where they were going, even though they're in the middle of New York City and leaving a massive media event, they take the paparazzi on a two-hour goose chase. Oh, it's completely okay. ridiculous. So they didn't Why want would you do you that if you weren't want trying anyone to get you footage of them doing this? You accept I, I, I Piers? I, I know though. that Piers is but shouting. Why, well, let, well let her answer first, and I'll come to you. You accept actually. that they didn't want people to know where they were and that they were therefore being followed because people were following them. Of course them. they're going and to not, be followed. And not only that, but you say, of course, like it's acceptable, Yes, Piers. it is acceptable. It's not, it's not acceptable. They've got their pictures. Sorry. 
you, leave if them you're alone. attending a media They've event got their pictures. With, with photographers everywhere else, you are actually allowed in New York City under the First Amendment to take people's pictures. They've if you, got if their you, pictures, Piers. If you abide within, they were threatening within them. the law. They, were harassing they weren't them. threatening they them were or intimidating they were trying to them. take their picture. Esther. What, why, why didn't they factor this into their security detail? Why didn't you factor in how you're actually going to get to where you want? Because obviously they didn't want people to know where they lived. Fine. But why don't you factor that into your security detail? They spend millions of dollars every year on hounded. security. No, no, no. I'm Esther. sorry. It's they not about them. Hounded. It's about their security that and they we spend. know that they're being Hold hounded. On. It's about their security. Of Meghan they and pay Harry for, they pay for tens and thousands. Actually, they pay, they pay in, for one tens picture, of thousands. in one but picture, if you paid for in one it, picture in the yellow taxi taken an hour into this ridiculous farce, she's smiling. Is that traumatic smiling? So an hour what is into that? the ridiculous farce. How could she be we smiling? We are now seemingly accepting that there was an incident and that what it lasted incident? for at There's least no an hour. There's no incident. What incident are you referring to? There was no collision. Nobody got arrested. If the this police, was Justin uh, Bieber or if have, this was another famous person, we wouldn't be having this conversation. We'd be saying, oh my gosh. You know no, why? No, no, you know why? But it's Justin Harry Bieber Meghan. and his security wouldn't have taken two hours to go from here to here. It's ridiculous. And exactly. I agree with you. It's ridiculous that they have been put under so much pressure. Oh, do be a <laughs> Why, favor, why are we not accepting Even this? you don't believe the this. The fact is, they Put under pressure by the media that they've been exploiting so the ruthlessly media that for years. They paying tens and thousands of pounds for pictures of them. They got the Meghan pictures. And Harry are making they should have allowed them to leave quietly. Meghan and Harry are making hundreds of millions of dollars from selling their families down the river to the media. So I won't, I'm, I'm afraid not, I'm by... I'm sure that's the right, they, Piers. They're, having, they're, upset they're, allowed, they're, to tell, right, they're me, allowed to tell their story. Let me... Uh-oh. Wonderful debate about this incident. I don't know what happened, but they seem to have been stuck, according to me for two hours and, and uh, people are having different opinions about it. People are having different opinions about it. Guys, thank you for watching and if today is your first time here, I do say thank you and please press that subscription button so that next time you will be able to get this great news. Thank you and see you again.